Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. In today's video, we're going to be going through everything you need to know about Notability in 2023. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, Fantastic human, welcome back. Notability is a handwriting note-taking app for the iPad, iPhone, and Mac. It costs $2.99 per month or $14.99 a year to access it on all devices. You get a discount for your first year at $11.99, which renews at the normal price. We're still waiting for the app to support family sharing for its subscription, which could help many of us. Notability has a free trial, so you can try it before signing up for the subscription. This review focuses on the subscription version of the app for the iPad. If you're interested in learning how to use Notability, we have a complete user guide for it on our website. We're also currently working on a step-by-step -step course, which you can access some of the ready episodes on our website. Make sure to check out our Patreon page for details on how you can access those learning materials if you need help getting started with the app. Creating new notebooks is very easy in Notability. The app has many page templates, with plenty of color and size options. The basic templates in the app even have line spacing options. Which is rare to find in a note taking app. You can also choose to use landscape or portrait page templates. The gallery has more templates shared by other Notability users from around the world. If not happy with all these, you can simply add your own template to the apps library. We always use our digital notebooks in all the note-taking apps that we review, so that's the one we'll be using in this video. In 2023, we still love the user interface in Notability. It is clean, minimalist, and modern. Even though the developers keep adding more features, they've kept the icons at a minimum. Notability has two types of pens, ballpoint and fountain pens. The dashed and dotted pens are not great for handwritten notes. We now also have a pencil tool. You guys know I love pencil tools. All your pen tools have a decent range of fixed pen thicknesses that simply work. The app has a lot of default colors and you can add custom ones using the hex code, slider, or color picker. The highlighter in Notability goes behind your ink. So it does not dim your notes when you layer it. The eraser tool erases per stroke. And pixel. And 
Bond can selectively erase the highlighter only. The handwriting experience in Notability is excellent. Palm rejection is perfect and there is no lag when using the Apple Pencil. The zoom tool in Notability has a decent zoom range. It supports auto advance and your writing tools are easily accessible. Most digital note takers love the zoom tool because it improves their handwriting somehow. I'm still trying to figure this one out. You can save your favorite pens, highlighters, erasers, and lasso tools on a mobile favorites toolbar for easier access. It can house up to 12 tools and you can take it away when you don't need it. Body text goes directly on the page and aligns with your basic template lines, which we love. You can add unnumbered, numbered, or interactive checklists. Notability supports three bullet point and numbering types for creating hierarchies in your lists. You can use custom fonts that you can resize and change their color. Formatting your text makes it bold, italic, or underlined. The app can save three favorite text styles, which helps if you use a lot of text in your notes. Text alignment is limited to your text boxes, and line spacing is easier to appreciate with them too. Text boxes mix better with handwritten notes than body text. A text box can have a transparent background, which lets it blend into the page template, or you can add a solid color to it. You can draw regular and irregular shapes in Notability, as well as curved lines and arrows. You can change your shapes after you've drawn them to adjust the border type, the border thickness, color, and fill. We are still waiting for opacity options for our shapes or their fill at least. Let us know if you found the ruler tool in the app useful for measuring items and stuff. The audio recording has become an industry standard in 2023. Not many note-taking apps can sync recordings to both handwritten and type notes. or animate your handwriting per pixel. You also get many playback options to fast forward or rewind 10 seconds at a time, speed up or slow down your playback. You can turn off the animation completely so that your audio and handwriting are not synced. You can choose to turn off the preview and you can improve the quality of the playback by playing around with its frequencies. Notability also lets you edit your recordings 
We're still waiting for improvements to how we split audio in the app, but we're probably being unreasonable. The whole idea of splitting audio recordings in a note-taking app is already overkill. In 2023, Notability still has the best audio recording feature on the market. The app supports PNG images, which are the best kind of images to add to digital notes. You can add formatted captions to your photos, wrap them around text, resize, or rotate them. Your captions won't rotate though, which we have mixed feelings about. I still don't get why you would want to add GIFs to your notes, but many people love the feature. You can scan documents into your notes using the iPad OS scanning technology. Notability just added the ability to extract editable ink out of your scans in the app. This is awesome and it's probably the most exciting feature Notability has released since it went subscription. You can also do this with photos, especially screenshots from other apps. It is exciting and promising technology once they've perfected it, of course, because at the moment, the conversions are not usable. The application tends to make the conversions very thick. And even if you change the pen thickness, you're still not able to read most of what it converts. So we're really excited to see this feature evolve. In Notability, web clips stopped making sense a long time ago. Many note-taking apps don't have proper sticky notes, so we love Notability for having them. You know, where you write something on a sticky note and it actually sticks to it and moves with the sticky note. These have different page templates and colors, which is great. The sticker collection in Notability keeps growing. You can also use custom stickers from handwritten items in your notes. We're still waiting for the ability to create stickers from everything you select on the page. Stickers make your notes look cute. More and more note-taking apps are starting to add features that help with active recall. We have flashcards in GoodNotes, page layers in NoteForm, and now tape in Notability. It closes parts of your notes that you need to learn and you can tap them to reveal the answer when you've tried answering it. Which of these setups do you prefer? Let us know in the comment section below. Flashcards, page layers, or type. The lasso tool can finally pick everything on the page. About time. but you can still pick individual items if you choose to, which is all the options you need in a note-taking app. Optical character recognition in Notability supports handwriting conversion in 22 languages. Errors are rare and easy to fix. We especially love that the conversion keeps your font size and color. You can also convert math and chemical equations into high resolution scalable images that support LaTeX codes 
And that pretty much covers all the kind of OCR you would expect a note-taking app to have. Multiple instances can open the same notebook twice. Each instance can then have in-app split view to open a total number of four documents side by side. You can choose to use vertical in-app split view, which puts documents one above the other. True Doc Mode automatically switches the colors of everything in the page and it works on PDFs too. And Notability is one of the few note-taking apps that are now supporting True Doc Mode. Scribble offers instant character recognition, which converts handwriting to text in real time. Notability still supports one page template per notebook, and honestly, it's not a bad thing. But for those that like multiple templates in a single notebook, this is quite limiting. Page rotation is also still limited to PDFs, and even then, it won't rotate anything on the page. And this for me was my breaking point. I stopped using the app. You can select multiple pages to cut, copy, clear, duplicate, or delete them. Bookmarks are the only way to ease navigation through massive notebooks, which is not enough. Page navigation in Notability is still substandard by industry standards. Notability can search all your notes in the app, so it can search your handwritten notes, styled text, and scanned documents, which is awesome. It doesn't display the results very well though, it just shows you the pages where your results are, so you still have to scroll through to find what you're looking for. You can also search your notes from the home page and the application will organize your results into title and content matches. So search tool still needs a bit of work in Notability. The Notability Gallery is a great resource for notes and templates. You can also share your notes with a community of digital note takers. We feel that in a world where most of us are trying to run away from social media to get more productive, it really doesn't help bringing it into your productivity app. We have enough social media already. Notability supports up to five levels of folders within folders for your organization, which was probably enough. You can lock your folders if you have some sensitive information in them. You can auto backup your notes to a number of cloud services, which is a great variety to have. App has a number of format options for your backup and you can choose to exclude some folders when backing up your notes. For settings in the app, we recommend you check out our app's user guide. Notability remains one of the best note-taking apps for the iPad, despite its steep price. It is obviously the most expensive note-taking app on the market, so it's not for everyone. If price is not an issue for you, it's certainly worth a try, especially now because you can try it for free. Let us know what you think about Notability in 2023. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.